Good day everyone and welcome back to the second episode this time of my championship predictions. We've got some interesting games, some not so interesting games coming up here. And I guess you'll get to find out what I think is going to happen in them. For the first matchup we have Peterborough versus Derby in front of the Sky Sports cameras. Um, now this one, I think that this will be interesting because Peterborough could take advantage of the absolute mess that Derby are in. But I I just can't see that happening. I think that Peterborough are too bad off. They lost their first game 3-0 to Luton and then they lost in the EFL Cup 4-0 to Plymouth. And that shows that they've, they've not made any massive additions. They've signed George Grant. But other than that, they've not made any massively notable signings. Um, Derby, of course, they haven't made any proper signings. Um, they've only got like a, one or two loans of free. They've got Ravel Morrison, who of course did score an absolute belter um, on his debut against, who was it, Salford in midweek. So I can see him showing up, but um, I, I, can't, I just can't see Peterborough winning. I can't see Peterborough winning any of their games unless they can get a serious form turn around. This might be the place where they could turn it around. I don't think it will be, though. I think that Derby have to be winning this. Or else they are getting relegated. I mean, they're getting relegated anyway. But I think that they do have to be winning this if they want to be staying up. And I think that it will be... I think Peterborough will finally get a goal. And I think it will be 3-1 to Derby. Next up we have Barnsley against Coventry. Now these are two teams. Of course, Barnsley are without a win. As of yet, they lost on penalties after drawing 0-0 with Bolton. And they drew... One all with Cardiff in the league. Uh, uh, Coventry, of course, they beat my team Forest in the 96th minute. Uh, late with Cal McFadgen goal. Um, after a sensational turnaround, really. Uh, but they did lose in the EFL Cup to Northampton. I think they're still in League 2 at Northampton. And for that reason, I can see that getting their confidence down. But... As as for Barnsley, I think that I said that I don't think they're going to do pretty well this season, or at least I'm going to in my predictions video, which will come out soon enough for the just the league. Um, I'd, I'd, I I think that Barnsley will win here, and that Coventry's form in the EFL Cup will just hold them back a little bit here. I think that Barnsley will win, but only by a one nil scoreline. I think it'll just be one nil. As for Birmingham versus Stoke, we have a little bit more of a. Um, a West Midlands clash or North West versus West Midlands as Stoke will call it. They're Midlands, they're, they're not West, they're not North West, nobody cares. Um, Stoke, they they beat Reading 3-2 on the opening day with an 85th minute goal. That's three goals scored for them. And Birmingham, what did they do on the opening Oh yeah, they beat Sheffield United, which is an absolutely massive, massive result for them. Stoke ran out in the EFL Cup 2-1 winners over Fleetwood Town and Birmingham won 1-0 against Colchester thanks to a goal from Oakley in the 75th minute. Now I can see this one being quite tight considering they've both got a 100% winning record. I'm not sure, well I mean one of their 100% win records has to be broken um, on Saturday, so Stoke. I think that I think that you'd be expecting Stoke to win this, which is why I'm backing Birmingham City. I think they'll get another one nil victory. They've got two one nil victories on the bounce, and I think that Stoke did well to win in the cup. So yeah, one 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 nil to Birmingham. A win and a draw for both teams as Blackpool and Cardiff face off. Cardiff. Uh, managed to run out winners over Sutton United 3-2 after going behind in midweek. So that is a little bit of a shakiness which could be capitalised on by Blackpool who were 3-0 winners at Middlesbrough. No, not at Middlesbrough, just against Middlesbrough. I think it's a sensational result for them after only drawing 1-1. Um, 
with Bristol City on the opening day. And for Cardiff, of course, they drew 1-0 on the opening day with Barnsley. So Blackpool, I think they're going to get their first championship win here because just because of that brilliant stuff there. I'll back them for a 2-1 victory. I think that Kesh Anderson will score again. Just and yeah, and just get another one after his sensational goal against Borough. Moving on, we have Huddersfield versus Fulham. Now, two teams which both drew one-one on the opening day, and well, Fulham haven't played an EFL Cup tie, and Huddersfield played there against Sheffield Wednesday quite a while before the season actually started. I think that Fulham have to be considered the favourites here. There's no doubt about that heading into this fixture that Fulham should be winning this um, against just a Huddersfield town side that I'm just not very keen on. I don't think they're I don't think that they're good enough to be putting anything up there against Fulham. So I think I'll back them for a two nil victory, Fulham. Um don't know where the goals will come from. They'll probably get another one from Harry Wilson because he did he did very well on his full debut. Staying in Again. the northeast, we have got Hull City going up against QPR. Now, Championship two years ago, Huddersfield, of course, Hull went down, got promoted. Um, now they're playing QPR again. Hull were very unlucky in terms of their EFL Cup result. Went down all down to penalties against Wigan after a 1-1 draw, which Wigan won 8-7 on pens. I don't think you can be much unluckier than that in QPR. Their game also went to pens, but they were more fortunate against Leighton Orient, uh, with Albert Adoma, ex-Forest player, scoring um, the winning penalty emphatically and um, sending them through. Now, I can, I can, I can see Hall, Hall just saw off Preston on the opening day. There was no, no real competition from Preston. They did take the lead, did Preston. There's a, there is no way that Preston really stood a chance, even though they opened the scoring. Now, they, I think this will be a very close match. I think it'll be a game for the defences. Not not a massive amount of goals in it. Uh, QPR did draw 1-1 against Millwall with Rob Dickey and Jed Wallace both scoring. Screamers. Belters, screamers, whatever you want to call them. I think that the start of the new campaign will catch up to Hull. And I think that QPR will beat them. I don't, think, I don't think it'll be a by a lot, though. I can see it being a tight game. So I think it'll only be 1-0 to QPR. Actually, no. 2-1 to QPR. Because I think that Hull will still be able to get a goal. I can't see Hull just not, not scoring after winning 4-1. Next is Middlesbrough versus Bristol City. Warnock versus Pearson. Um, of course, Middlesbrough did get demolished at the hands of Blackpool. Uh, in the cup, three nil. So that is really not promising for Warnock's side. Bristol City. They also got well. They didn't get demolished, but they did go out to Forest Green. Uh, two teams that drew one all on the first day. Bristol City also uh, uh, being pegged back by Blackpool. So um, Middlesbrough, of course, did manage to hold firm against Fulham. So I can I can I can see them doing well if they can just hold back and be defensive like you usually expect a Middlesbrough team with Neil Warnock in charge to be. But I do, I do back Nigel Pearson ahead of Colin. So I, th- I think that I think it'll be a two-one away win for Bristol City, and I think that they will be able to. I think that they will be able to break Borough down. Now, Millwall versus Blackburn is bound to be an interesting one with, of course, Blackburn now having lost their star striker, Adam Armstrong, to Southampton. Millwall do have quality in their side, and so, but I can't see them doing a massive amount this season. And so Blackburn, I think, they will win. Since they did manage to beat Swansea on the opening day, I can see them going to the den 
and picking up three points. One one nil to Blackburn, I think, is a fair result. Next on the list, we've got my team, Forest, going up against Bournemouth. Now, of course, we've got we've got two centre backs fit out of about seven, and nine midfielders who all need to start. So we've got a really really weird playing playing player situation. Of course, with 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 a loss against Coventry, but a win against Bradford, that Zink and Argel Carvalho partnership seems to be working very well, and I do expect to see it being used against Bournemouth on Saturday. Now Bournemouth, they did look very good when I watched them uh, when they played against West Brom. They did finish a good few chances, and I think that Philip Billing will be a very very much a danger man for them. Um, but Davy Brooks also doing well. Stanislas and Brooks took us apart when we played them last season. Not well in the first game, but in the second game. James Garner pocketed Jack Wilshire in the second game. And now, now it would be very hopeful to say that it's a win, but I think that we I think that we can pick up a draw against Bournemouth, but just because of our lack of a centre our, our lack of good fit centre backs then we Elliot, can't see myself. Ready? Yes. I, mean, I, can't, I, can't, I can't just see us winning. So I'll, no, I'll, 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 say, I'll say a 1-1 draw because I think that we will be able to score but I think that they will very easily cancel it out, maybe even get a second. But I, I will back us to manage to draw. Next, at the Medeski Stadium, we have a Reading going up against Preston Reading who had a who've lost both of their games, conceding three in both of them against Swansea and Stoke um, so far, against Preston North End, who saw off Mansfield in the Cup in midweek, but were absolutely disastrous against um, Hull on the opening day. They managed to concede four, so two teams with without the best of records going into this Reading of course, since they have lost both of their matches, you do think that they will turn on the power a bit, try and turn it around. But Preston, I will. I think that they'll take the form from midweek and be able to see them off. Two uh, one to Preston is my prediction, but it, it could easily swing either way. Heading into the last two fixtures, we have West Brom going up against Luton. Now West Brom, th- this is an interesting time to predict because West Brom, of course. They did manage to draw 2-2 against Bournemouth. That is a prediction right for me, of course. And they they haven't played in the EFL Cup. But they did look good and they're expected to be very good as a Premier League side coming down. And Luton, you would expect them to be um, absolutely battered by West Brom. But, West, but Luton did win 3-0 against Peterborough. So, you feel like Luton could manage to snatch a result out of it. Not not so not so sure, but you feel like they might just be able to, after that performance against Peterborough. Now, as for as for a score prediction, I I might go for a I might go for what I think they'll all be one one. In fact, no, I don't care. I'm just going to do it randomly. I'm going to say Luton. You're going to win it 2-1. I know that you only beat Peterborough, but I think that they can really turn it on against West Brom and that they will manage to somehow come out with a result and it will be a shock result. But yeah, 2-1 to Luton. Last but most certainly not least, we have Swansea against Sheffield United. Now this will be... A very good game. I can see it being a fantastic game. Of course, Swansea did lose on the opening day, so you could see them not doing well, but they did demolish Reading in the Cup. Now, Sheffield United, they did lose to Birmingham, so they will want to get in there, produce a good performance, get a bit of redemption for that. And Swansea, Sw- Swansea having lost... They will want to get their first points of the season on the board. Well, I mean, both teams will want to get their first points of the season on the board. 
Now it's just a matter of which team can play better. Now Swansea, under their new manager, they they will start to get that new manager bounce, which you sometimes get. But I'm not sure whether or not they got it because they did lose on the first day. Um, Sheffield United, though, I think that they should. They, I think that Sheffield United should be good enough to beat Swansea. So I'm gonna. So I'm gonna say. Cause I think it will be quite close, though. I think it'll only be one 0 to Sheffield United. So not that. Not not a great deal of shocks, but I think that uh, Sheffield United. I think they will be able to topple Swansea. Will be all of the predictions. Thank you guys for watching. I just want to say, I'm really sorry for the late late video. Um. I've been on holiday, so it's been quite tough to do anything with my face involved because I've not really got a setup at all. Because I've got a little setup here, as you'll know. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, and just cheese. Bye bye.